What's up guys, Knuckleball Twins here. It's been so long that we've been together doing an intro, I've forgotten what to say, like. Yeah, well I don't say anything anyway, so that's why. <laughs> Today, you've clicked on the video, a brand new secret tips one. First tip to start off with, buy yourself a Jabulani. It yeah. you sorted. A very rare, but buy yourself one, you'll be all right. I'm sure the local club will do it. Like. Yeah, corner shop, have a look. <laughs> Thank you to Club Skills for being the 300th like on the recent Secret Tips video. Yeah, you've pretty much unlocked this video. So <laughs> thanks to everyone that liked the video. We do really appreciate it. Yeah. Trophy unlocked, new video. And yeah, let's get to it and enjoy. I think 500 likes on this one would bring out a Secret Tips free. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Today's question, how long will the Japulani last? <laughs> I have seen a few videos from, I think, Just Knuckle It and Aussie Free Kickers and how to fix Jabulani footballs or any official match ball and you guys might have seen our we fix the best football ever video where we did fix these temporarily but they just don't hold the air so I'm going to have to go through those videos from Just Knuckle It or Aussie Free Kickers to either replace the valve or repair the leak inside the ball but I figured that the tape on the valve stops the air from coming out completely so why not give it a try? Just getting the last bit of the net set up. It's hard work today, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's so time consuming as well. Yeah, yeah it acts decent. Shout out to Mazzino for hooking us up with these very special boots, shall we say. Yeah. These are the lightest boots they've released in gold as well. One of the OG releases. I feel like Rivaldo in gold for this. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite a special moment, quite a unique moment. Comment down below if you guys wear or would wear gold boots in your game or training, anything like that. Um, I don't think I'd wear them personally as a goalkeeper, but it's all part of the fun. And they're so comfortable and so light, I can't fault them anyway. So, you know, why yeah, not? The irony is though, because they're made of pure gold, you think they'd be heavy, but yeah, exactly, but that's, exactly, that's it, yeah, about $2 million. <laughs> but yeah, let's get to it. Check to the camera. What did I just say? What you just said? Oh yeah. Mate, it feels so nice to strike the ball like that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, That's not a bad first shot. So the first secret tip I'm going to give you guys today is momentum. So with momentum, a lot of it is about the consistency and continuity, especially when practicing knuckleball free kicks. It sounds daft, but psychologically, if in your head you're confident and you've got the momentum going, that is the best time to work on your knuckleball free kicks because you feel good. That dip though. The strikes are feeling consistent and the momentum is maintaining and that's the most important time to continue going at a knuckleball free kick. If you go off slightly and feel like you're not getting the momentum as much as you'd like, then that's the time to have a breather and perhaps change your position. Made the keeper work. Again, like we said in our previous secret tips video, hit the target. So I'm happy with that. So thanks for your comments. We know that you guys like to see consistency when it comes to free kicks. A few uncut, so I'm now going to take a few free kicks for you to see in a row, and hopefully I can maintain that momentum I picked up from previous rounds. If not, then it will actually work in my favor in a weird way, because it will introduce me into a new secret tip for you guys. Either way, I will share that with you after these free kicks. That was sick. If that goes in the goal, then happy days. Complete dead ball, bit of movement. It's on target. Not the best free kick at all, to be honest. It'll be hitting the wall in game. But it brings me on nicely to my next secret tip, which is about composure. When you watch football games on the TV, or if you're playing in a match, you will know that when you get a free kick, you get time to compose and set yourself. 
So with composure, it's really important that you talk yourself through the steps, you remind yourself of the secret tips, the little tricks you need to do to be able to perform the perfect free kick. You're assessing the situation. How far out are you? Where is the wall? Where's the keeper? So I'm now telling myself, as I strike the ball, I need to lean my body to the left, cancel the follow through. I'm speechless on that. That was insane. Okay, so for the next secret tip guys, you're all aware about cancelling the follow through, but the quicker we do that, the better the knuckleball free kick is going to be. So I'm striking the ball with the instep, hitting it in the centre, we're lifting our foot over and through, and then the follow through is going no further than our left leg. The quicker we cancel that, the more knuckleball effects we're going to get. It's very difficult. But as we're learning, don't focus on the power, focus on cancelling the follow through and that will help you get more knuckleball movement when we're striking the ball. Another secret tip, injure the keeper so it's easier to score. <laughs> yeah. A much better free kick. I was more composed, more relaxed, and it enabled me to do a better free kick. I think Charlie's got something to say. Well, I certainly need to compose myself after that one. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. As a keeper though, how much do you hate your knuckleball? Yeah, no, not keen. I hate it. It's, like I said, it's unpredictable, isn't it? Yeah. Every time. You guys know that already anyway, but from my point of view, it's just different every time. The ball's moving, it's fast paced. Yeah. And even if I'm setting myself for a corner, the ball might move randomly in like that one did. And then all of a sudden, the keeper's like, wait, he's going there and now it's there. So. Sad times, packing up. On to the penultimate tip then for you guys. I recommend that if you're learning, film yourself do knuckleball free kicks. Whether it's with your phone or with a camera you can get hold of, film yourself and watch yourself back on your laptop, on whatever you use and see how your technique is. As you guys know, we film all of our free kick sessions and every time we get back, we will watch them. We will watch all our free kicks, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then take those tips into our next free kick session. I'm not best pleased with how I did today. So for me, I will go back and watch the clips and see where I went wrong, see where my technique's lacking maybe, what needs working on, but also what I'm doing well, because it's important to remain positive and focus on the positives don't dwell on the negatives too much but have a look watch your clips back and see what you can work on in the next session i was just telling charlie what i've ate today and he's just like well that kind of explains why i wasn't so good today shreddies and a coffee i'm no nutritionist but you've burned so many calories taking free kicks so you've probably got like no calories left in your system from today from your dodgy breakfast it's like buying a car with no fuel it doesn't move does it you plan <laughs> Anyway, yeah, my secret tip, eat well, look after yourself and don't eat shreddies for breakfast. <laughs>
So moving on to the last tip now, guys. If you're still watching, that is. Most of you probably switched off ages ago. Um, and that is to do with protection. So last tip, protection. You had a secret tip last time in our last secret tips video about the ankle guards and where to place them on your ankle to protect yourself when you strike the ball. We actually had a, a lot of positive feedback from that tip, which surprised me because it's something I do all the time, but not something I would have thought would help you guys. So for the next one, this probably seems even weirder, but I always tape my ankle here. Hopefully you're seeing that and the shadow's not in the way. Because what happens is the continuity of doing a knuckleball free kicks and that constant ankle bashing on the ground, it hurts. Whereas that tape does prevent me from getting a lot of pain there. Because in the past, when we first started, I didn't do that with my ankle and it hurt a lot after every session. So look after yourselves. Obviously Charlie said about nutrition and all that, but look after your body because the knuckleball free kick can be very strenuous. Can you think of any secret tips yourselves? Maybe you can let us know in the comments. Sandwich well today, just eat better and you'll be even better, won't you? So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you next time. Knuckleheads.